Well, looks like the final skylight is completed. Yes, I'm in creative mode, so I can actually just fly to show you guys this wonderful, wonderful hole in the ground. Why aren't you loading? Come on, don't, don't do this to me. Load the chunk. Come on. There you go. So, here it is. The final skylight. Oh, don't do that again. Come on now. I need a good little, well, spot to show everything. Come on. Don't do this. Come on. Stay. Stay. Okay. Oh my god, that is so beautiful. How do I do this again? Ah, uh, there you go. This is going to be episode 63 of Pixelmon. The skylight, the final skylight is completed and I'm very, very happy for this. And I got a lot of people to thank for this one. So, let's see, let's see where I can go from here. That this final skylight took about a probably good two weeks closing up to three weeks if I remember right that everybody is in school everyone's doing their own projects they're only doing their own thing I haven't been really online to actually work on the skylight too often and whenever I'm online I'm just doing something else and not really working on the skylight so things were kind of slow at this point but now that we're done what else can I do I got a good idea what I want to do, but it's going to take even longer to actually accomplish but once it's done it will actually be partially beneficial to a lot of people if they decide to actually explore the area too but i'm gonna have to see how well that goes if you guys wanted to discuss about it in the comment section below feel free to do so but i'm on the server of mvblock.org that is a server ip feel free to join us you're gonna have to have Pixelmon 3.4.0 download in as well as that you're going to have Forge Mod 1.7.10 last four ending numbers in 1230. So feel free to join us. All you got to do is just respect the players, respect the moderators, the staff, the owner. Just respect the players, follow the rules, just no spamming, no griefing, no swearing, no raiding. And as well as that, of course, no griefing and of course, no x raying Mainly, it is Pokemon and Minecraft in a multiplayer server. Survival and as well as that you have MCMMO. So you know how to do all that stuff. You'll do great here. Just mainly have fun, make some friends, talk to people and play Pokemon. Or, or you could just build however you want to go. So we got that going on. Now let's go ahead and check this out, check this out, how did I do this again? There we go. So what we've got here is that this is the final skylight, it's completed, I got all my friends to thank. Let's go check out the party right now. So we got Biller Beck Boys. Hey, I like how my name is already in orange right there. That means I'm the leader apparently. Okay, that's actually pretty cool, I never noticed that until now. Okay, so we got Timberwolf, Strawberry, Mac and Cheese, John Doe 27, Zag 24001, Cougar P 2000, Ronin, Rasputin, we got Ryan Rye, we got Isaac Tuomi, Pika, Sword of the X Hazard, Sethra, Caterpie, Zag, Fuzzy, and as well as Gerald Craft. That they've all helped me one way or another, as well as Aofi, and I'm trying to remember the other names, S Man, and Chaos. And they made their own party because they're actually working on something else, but I'm not going to show it unless they give me permission to show it. So I'll respect them for that. Now, you probably have already noticed the mod request that somebody has been grieved, and I'm going to have to check that out after the recording. So we're going to leave it as that. I'm just going to leave that sort of drama or that grief spot alone for a bit. So what else is new? Just mainly... DG has been online and has been giving a lot of people a rank upgrades. It's just all the other people who have been online are not online right now. But here are shout outs to everybody who is online currently. We got Aofi, It's Cobalt, S-Man, Devastator2764, Chaos Z Heon. I can never pronounce your name correctly. I'm just going to call you Chaos from now on. Otherwise, then I'm just going to make a fool out of myself. So we got Aoli with triple zero in the end. How do you pronounce this one? Peravian Quasar, I think that's how you pronounce it. So we got Will Warlick. Was that supposed to be Warlock? I don't even know. Okay. Well, we got Devastator2763. Is that your alternate account? Which one's the alternate? Is it 6463? I would assume that 63 is the first one and then 64 is the alternate, unless they're two different people because they have two different pings. I'm not even too sure about that. That's just a little bit crazy right now. Okay, we got Mikey 
we got Bryce and as well as Butter Virus 3169 as well as Kedanai. Kedanai has been a new player, but he's been sticking a while, sticking with us for a while, so maybe he'll be a regular on the server as well. Now, S-Man so far is the only one that I've noticed that's online and has a rank upgrade because he's been voting every single day, and now he is finally a legend. So let's go ahead and check that out. Let's go see what else is new. Nothing going on in the chat. So mainly that I've got some shinies here and there. I've been selling some shinies. And what else is new? Let's go check out the bell top. Because we got to see the little bit of a update of the scoreboard right here. So I am in second place now. With Green Dragon at 188,000. Myself at 124,000. Crucifix still remaining at 122,000. We have Aofi at 90,000. We got Ronin at 79,000. S-Man at 73,000. We got Isaac Tuomi at 70,000. And then we got Dominkius. Well, that's Chaos right there. He's He has his nickname right now. And he's at 68,000. Of course, it was rounding up and rounding down. And he's been catching up really quickly on the mine, Minecraft, like the leaderboards of mining. Because right now, I'm at one, like a... 1,819 and he's already at 1,632 he's been catching up to me he, he's threatening to actually take my spot I actually had a major lead out of 500 levels but since I haven't really been active in mining that's when he started to catch up so I really got to actually do a lot of work to remain my top throne of the, the mining leaderboards I want to be that person who just keeps mining everything you know who you are you're gonna get my spot one of these days and congratulations and when you get that that. but still my god you've gone like over 300 levels in a single day i really got to get back to mining this is one of the reasons why i actually want to do this crazy project that i'm thinking about doing right now i've already had a head start on it so i'm going to show you guys right here right now and oh look at that lucky votes let me just plug that in real quick that if you're new to the server and you've already registered of course then you'll be able to get a second starter 100 in-game dollars a diamond tool set a master ball and i'm trying to remember what it is oh yes 10 rare candy so feel free to register all i have to do is just go to register and then you get the link click on the link set up your account and then click new pixelmon kit and go through it with like as if you were actually checking out the product and of course it's absolutely free and of course if you go to vote list you'll be able to have to see well you're able to vote four times within the 24 hour time span and you get some good prizes first of all you'll be able to get fifty dollars in game and as well as some levels and experience so you got that going on and of course with the chances you get one in 15 chance of five pokeballs one in 25 and 10 diamonds one in 50 and 32 ultra balls one in 75 and an xp share one in 80 and an extra well, for an extra $500, then 1 in 100 chance of either getting a Master Ball or a random Legendary, and then you get 1 in 300 chance of a rank upgrade. So, you got nothing to lose and a lot more to gain. So, feel free to actually vote for the server because it will help the server gain notoriety and as well as more people will get to know about the server and then join us and then we'll get a better community with a lot of more players online as well. You get stuff out of it, we get helped out a bit, and everyone's happy. So let's continue on. I've kind of actually dragged this on way too much and a little bit too long. And now just this beautiful, beautiful skylight is finally done. We got a skylight in every single corner of the world. And it's 100 by 100. It's pretty much a hole in the ground. You go to it, you see all the torches around. And you just look up in the sky and there's a light. Look at the sun. It's so beautiful. It's just absolutely beautiful. So let's go to the first skylight that we have made. Just let's go over here. And then we got this beautiful hole in the ground. Well, let me go ahead and actually go back to survival. Because I'm a moderator and a server and I'm an advertiser as well. So it got it got its benefits. Well, let's move on from here. Let's go ahead. Up, oh, stop it. Stop it. Little bit of a tick lag right there. So let me go ahead. Well, I don't know who you are. I don't know why you sent me a little bit of a request to go to where I'm at. So, sorry buddy, I cannot accept that right now. Oh, poor Mikey. Hate that I'm always two votes down from top voters. Yeah, at times it is kind of buggy, but you just got to remember not to actually like vote before the 24 hour period. Depending if you're going to go on mobile or on PC or if you switch from back and forth, you really got to be careful with that. That's the thing that really gets to people. If you're on the mobile and you're voting and it's not the 24 hour period, it's not going to count the vote. That's just how it goes. It just says that you've already voted it, even though it's not the 24 hours. So it's going to mess you up if you 
don't be careful with that. So be careful. That's all I gotta say. Now, here is this little tunnel that we're gonna make, or I'm gonna make. I don't know if anyone else is gonna be crazy enough with me to actually make this tunnel, but this is gonna be 100 by 3. Yeah! 100 wide, 3 blocks in height. I was trying to remember what I was gonna say. And going from one spot all the way down to the end of the world. In this world, right, of course, it has the borders. It is 16,000 by 16,000. 100 by 3, that's already 300 blocks in each column. So this 1, 2, and 3 right here. So 300 blocks from one side to the other side. Times that by 16,000. Yeah, we already got a... I'm trying to do the math here. I think it's if you put first of all you put put in two zeros and after sixteen thousand, so yeah, it's gonna be five zeros and then sixteen. Oh my god, I'm trying to remember the math at the top of my head. I used to be good at this. I just don't want to make a fool out of myself. But I'll say it right here. I think it's gonna be at least a good one one yeah one million six hundred thousand. Then times that by three, that is gonna be four million eight hundred thousand blocks. Yep. Drop the nickel. My my computer desk is so messy. I'm so sorry about this. I'm never I don't plan ahead. I just go with the flow. Okay, so let me go ahead and check it out on the calculator. So we got sixteen thousand times three hundred. Yes, I was correct on that point. Four million eight hundred thousand blocks across. That's gonna be how many blocks I'm gonna mine. At least if I were to do it by myself. This is just an estimate because of course we're going to probably find some caves or some ravines and lava patches. But mainly it's going to be a good 4,800,000 blocks going from one end to the other end. That is insane. If DT allows me to do this, I am okay with it. But even then, there's no builds whatsoever down here. So I don't think it's going to be that big of a deal and we're gonna get a lot of resources we're gonna get a lot of money we're gonna have a lot of things done it's just for me to do this and have other people help me out that's gonna be the thing a lot of people can help me out i don't mind just please just please that do not just go out of your way just to get the resources and leave because that is just an insult at that point that you said that you're going to help, but then all of a sudden you just make tunnels, get some resources, and leave and never come back. That is just an insult right there. So, if you find resources, you could keep them. I don't care. Just make sure that you do a you do your part in actually mining. If you actually do want to mine. You get some levels. You get some money out of it. You get some resources if you need it. Just mainly, it's going to be this well first of all what what i want to do is that i want to do layer three and layer two so this is layer three right here later layer three and then layer two layer one is going to be right here but we could work on that last of course if you're going to find some resources yeah you're just going to mine it but if you do mine it feel free to patch things up with stone that's all i ask because it's going to make it look better and i don't want to see cobblestone dirt or anything else in here <laughs> Yeah, it's just going to be my OCD going to be killing me at this point. It's OCD that is speaking. I'm sorry. So just mainly, just feel free to help me out in this area. Just message me and I'll bring you over here so that we could get some work done in here. That it's going to take a while, but once it's done, then we'll have all this space to run around. Maybe we'll put some minecarts. I don't know. I don't think minecarts is actually going to do anything anymore. Because back then, with minecarts, you were able to use that to actually hatch eggs. But since the developers found that out, and they thought that that would be way too easy, they actually got rid of that. And now all you have to do is just run around. So the purpose of the tunnels is just mainly to run around. Of, of course, that if you guys want to find some biomes, you can just run around in the tunnels here, and then you'll probably find the biomes that you want to get. Maybe it'll be jungle hills. Maybe it'll be a beach. Sunflower plains. Icy spikes. Taiga. Mountains. Or, yeah, hills. Extreme hills. Extreme hills. Mountains. However you want to go about this. And probably you'll find some shinies along the way, too. Just imagine all the Pokemon and all the other stuff that would spawn down here if we were to make this wide enough. And there's a Rattata over there. Time to go kill... Oh, oh, okay. I thought I killed a torch. I'm just going to cover that up right now. Because I really don't want to actually have a little bit of a hole over here when we haven't gotten any work done. 
Well, in comparison, really. Ratatata! My Crobat is level 99. Will you beat the Pokemon that gets my Crobat to level 100? My Crobat is huge and as well as it's shiny. That's why it's pink. So let's see. Shall I bite you? You're almost dead. Bite again. Whew, we got a GS Ball, an Orb, and a Max Potion, and 3,430 XP. Yeah, that didn't really work. Wow, I got two Leaf Stones. Hooray for me. We'll get rid of that. Get rid of that. Are, am I lagging? Okay, so we got that, and now we have that. Well, I don't need the Max Potion, because that's kind of useless to me. And then we go to PV1, check out all my stuff that I have. I got so much stuff. Gotta put the Orb right there. And then Leaf Stone. What else can I put away? Nothing else? No? Okay. So we got that going on. And you got rid of it too with a clear lag. Thank you for that. So it's gonna take a while for us to get done. The reason why I'm actually doing this is, yes, I'm doing it for the money, the levels, and as well as that, I want to get some of the other side goals I have planned out. So if I could actually get around to making videos of that, then that's gonna be great for me. It's just going to help out a lot with the series. It's just mainly with the money, I'll be able to buy some shinies. I'll be able to help people out if they need money and all that good stuff. So mainly, I'm looking for shinies that I don't have. So if you have a shiny that I don't have, feel free to message me. Just one of these days, I'm going to have to actually make a thread about all the shinies that I need. But I will pay good, good enough or a good amount of money for it. Good enough, a good amount of money. I don't even know how to do grammar anymore. Just I will pay money for the shinies that you have. So... We got that going on, that my main goal is to actually get every single Pokemon in the server up to this point of the update, all Shinies and level 100. So it's going to take forever because of course not many people have that many Shinies or pretty much everybody has the most common Shinies. So it's going to take a while before I actually get around to actually getting every single Shiny and of course that I'm going to get them all to level 100. So it's going to take a while but that's mainly the series and I'm just doing this for the side goals. So let's go check out mining here. So I'm already at 1,819. If I were to use Super Breaker, it's going to last me 38 seconds. And then I have the double chance drop of 100%. So any block that I do mine, it's going to be doubled. So it's a great way to get resources. Just mainly every single level that you get in mining is going to be 0.10%. So, of course, if we get to 1,000, that's 100%. If you are at 500, that is 50%. So, it's easy to do the math from there. So, redstone, break that up. Two blocks. That's already $4 right there. So, redstone is a good way to actually even make money. Because for all you have to do is just go to shop. You go to sell menu. You go to building blocks. And then you go to wherever you need to go. So, here you have it. With the diamond ores. $15 for one diamond ore, and I already have 12 right there. That's already $600 right there. Wait, is that the right math? I think it is. I trying to remember. I I'm stupid. Sorry, that wasn't 600. I'm thinking of a different number. I was thinking of 50. Wow, 15. Oh my god, I'm so embarrassed right now. Okay. Right now I currently have a I have 12 times 15, that's 180. I cracked it myself. So, yeah. Forget what I said earlier. <laughs> I need to go back to school. So, there you go. That was just a good $180 right then and there. Keep in mind that I'm still sick, so I'm going to be doing some jump cuts every once in a while. Yeah, it's a thing. I have a bad sleeping schedule, so this is why I've been remaining sick and I haven't really gotten any better. So, my recommendation to you, coming from a guy who's sick, don't get sick. Yeah, great advice, right? So don't get sick. It's not recommended. Okay. So mainly I'm just alone in here. Not many people will actually know what I'm doing. And if I were to tell them, they probably would either say, you're crazy or that's just crazy enough to actually work because I have nothing else to do. Mainly if they want to volunteer, they want to volunteer. And I truly, truly thank them for that. So we got that going on. Just, you get your mining levels, you get your money, you'll be able to get some other stuff as well. You get your resources if you want to do some buildings. And of course, with Ronin, I know him that he does a lot of builds so far because of the building competition hosted by Bryce. So, when he ever needs stone, he helps me out by doing a lot of mining as well. So, we got that going on. I'm very happy that we are getting some work done in here. So, what else is new? Just, I don't think that anything else is new mainly everybody wants to become top voter of march i already know i have competition with five other people with snickers i think ronin as well that we have cutie pie mommy 
Yeah, I think it's Cutie Pie Mommy. And then I'm trying to remember the names on the top of my head. Steven and Sky 52, he was top voter as well with me in the month of February. We both tied. And then, of course, uh, we get two rank upgrades. And I've already given mine out. I really hope that they got their rank upgrades as well. Because Mac and Cheese, that with the deal I made with him, that I actually was supposed to give him two rank upgrades because of when he gave me a shiny legendary. And as well as another legendary and a good amount of shinies, I told him I would just give him two rank upgrades from the top vote that I have but sadly that didn't happen and now I owed him a rank upgrade and that since that the month is over and I've already gone top voter I'm giving him my rank upgrade and that will actually bring him up to legend status so there we go with that and then with the second rank upgrade I haven't really talked to many people but then when strawberry came online and supported me and as well as talked to me more often I just said that hey here you go you could actually have the second rank upgrade so I really hope that strawberry actually gets it so we got that going on. Just mainly DG just went online while I was at work. So I was not able to tell them, hey, could you give them the, to these two people? So I left a post on the forum saying that he actually hasn't been online in a while because he went on vacation. And since he didn't have internet, he wasn't able to actually keep up with the with the end of the month or end of February because usually he always comes online every end of the month to actually reward people for actually voting every single day. So we got that. And yes, I do, in fact, realize that I keep saying that. I keep saying, so we got that going on, or so we got that. Yeah, that is my go-to phrase now, which I really got to stop that because it's going to annoy people. I'm pretty sure some people have already noticed about it. When other people haven't noticed about it that I pointed it out, now they're going to actually notice it more often. So here's a quick little thing that I do say a lot of go-to phrases, that if I stop one go-to phrase, I say another go-to phrase, and people will point that out eventually, and then I'm like, okay, I'm going to have to change that. So I stop saying that go-to phrase, and then I go to even another go-to phrase. So it's got to be a pattern, especially when a person who's commentating so often that sometimes they don't notice it until other people point it out. So that is just a little bit of criticism right there. I do say a lot of go-to phrases, but just keep in mind that whenever I make a good new go-to phrase, that just means I stop saying a different go-to phrase. And who knows, maybe we'll actually cycle through. But that's the thing with me. I don't know when I actually start saying it until I actually think about it. And then I realize that I'm saying it, but then I just don't remember what I've said in the past because I just can't say a good example of what I used to say I just sometimes I really don't remember what I've actually said in the past as a go-to phrase I think I remember some of them but I just can't remember all of them so it's weird it's absolutely weird please I'm please tell me I'm not the only one who's experienced this some people may have already experienced this as well I'm just trying to remember what else did I say in the past I think I've said moving on from here I think that was one of them so I don't actually remember. I'm trying to think on the top of my head. I honestly am. I just cannot think. I really can't. I think I said really? I think I said... Oh yeah, I think I remember one of them. I think it was for, as a matter of fact. Or the fact of the matter. I keep saying for the fact of the matter is because literally it is a truthful statement. But I just kept saying that over and over and over. So I did actually stop saying that. But now I'm thinking about it. I really don't want to say it again. So this is kind of like a bittersweet moment or I think it's I think it's a like a blessing and a curse. I remember some of them, but then I go back to saying it. It's like, oh my God, I really got to stop doing this. Well, quite honestly, I'm just glad I don't remember most of them because then that just means that I have stopped saying it and then I won't remember to actually say it ever again. So I guess that's good, right? I guess that's good. New project by chance? Yes. Uh, my God. I, I really hope that you are actually willing to do this. Let's see. Yeah, I'm insane. <laughs> yeah. Come over here. Come over here. Come here. Zach, right here. Look at this. Skylight. We're going this way. <laughs> it's gonna be insane. I know. Yeah, I am insane. So yeah. Case in point, I'm insane. So we're gonna be making a 100 by 3 tunnel. 
just mainly making that all the way from one side to the other side of the world and I just remember that I have forgotten yet again to actually put the music in. Yeah, just I don't think it's going to make a difference now so I'm just going to leave that and hopefully by next episode I'll remember then. And one of the other things that I'm going to actually try to do since I know that you guys don't really want to keep seeing me mining all day every day for the end of days that I'm going to try to do something different within every episode. Are we going to use beacons? I am not too sure actually. So I'm not too sure if I'm going to actually be using beacons because every single time when we need to have a beacon I'm going to have to make a hole all the way up to the ceiling or sorry to the surface. It's going to be an eyesore for a person like if they were to explore the edge of the world and then they see this it's like what is this? Fall all the way down then they see this and then it's like what the heck is this? And if I don't know who they are they didn't ask for to help me out then what what damage would they do? They probably do a lot of damage. I don't even know. Just I'm getting a little bit paranoid when I'm thinking about that. So not too sure if I'm actually going to be using beacons anytime soon. If I do, then I really hope that. Well, I could just place a sign right there. It's like, yeah, I could actually place a sign right next to the beacon. It's like, do not grieve this spot because you will not, you will, you, you will regret griefing this spot. That's all I could possibly say as a warning. Just put a little bit of sign. Saying Mod Fox, you really don't want to actually be doing that. I don't even know. I'm just thinking as I go along at this point. But if you ignore the sign, then that is just bad news right there. <laughs> I I can't really be any more clear than that. Probably saying that this is going to be a 100 by 3 tunnel. Please do not grief this spot. You could take the resources. You could mine some of the spots. But please patch things up with regular stone. That's all I could actually ask for. Maybe. I don't know. Like I said, I think as I go along. So maybe I'll be able to use beacons. Just not too sure yet. We'll see. Just mainly, I hope. Hey, not, not yet. Not the floor yet. Not the floor yet. It just be a little bit more easier to actually, like, what's it called? Keep track of if we do th layer 3 and layer 2 first. And then do the last layer right here. Is like the one I'm actually punching right now. Hey, no. No. Bad. Bad. Don't shoot me. Bad. Don't shoot me. That is mean. Don't shoot me. Thank you. Thank you kindly. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. You did it again. <laughs> I don't even know. Just mainly, I, I know that you guys probably won't want to see me mining every single time. Because with the skylights, it was more open. But here, it's just more condensed. And you probably don't want to see that. So I'm probably going to have to do something different every now and then. I really hope I'll be able to actually host some mini games Because one of the things that a lot of people wanted me to do in the past was host mini games, But I wasn't able to because I don't have permissions to actually host the mini games. So, yeah. Mainly it's because I don't have World Guard. And since I don't have World Guard, I don't have access to the mini games. And since I don't have access to the mini games, then I'm not able to actually use or host mini games so <laughs> it's so bad honestly it's so bad i really got to ask for all these permissions so that i could actually do something about it but until then it's just gonna have to wait and i apologize for that i'm still new to the whole moderatorship thing okay so mainly if i do something different every episode then go back to mine then that could be a thing just mainly i'm gonna have to organize my pc i'm gonna have to show you guys all my shiny so far all the other stuff that i have maybe i'll show some builds of other people who have made some things in the past so or maybe i'll explore the classic server once again just mainly something different every once in a while maybe have like i don't know just a few episodes and yeah we'll be able to find a lot of diamonds just mainly a lot of diamonds okay so back to what i was saying I'm going to have to try to do something different every now and then. <laughs> yeah, I saw you have diamonds, man. I saw you have diamonds. So what else is new? I don't think I have anything else new to say. It's just it's going to take a while for us to get this done, obviously. So until we actually get this done, <laughs> it's going to be a hassle. It's going to be a struggle. It's going to be a mission. However else you want to actually call it. It's just one of those things. Oh, I think I remember what I keep saying. It's just... Yeah, that's another thing I keep saying. I'm going to have to work on stop saying that. I really got to stop saying that. Now it's kind of hard because mainly I use that phrase to actually do an explanation. God dang it, I just can never win. It's just... Oh my god, I said it again. Unless that was actually appropriate to say that. I don't know anymore. I just really don't know anymore. I'm going to have to end off the episode before I just... Like, I don't know. Explode or something. 
So let's go to PV1 and let me go do what well, I don't even have room. What am I even doing anymore? Oh my god. So let's go ahead and sell all my blocks. Just let's end off the episode, guys. I'll try to do better next time. Just I really hope I can. Go to bow. It power five, flame one, infinity one. Mainly just for I don't know. Just killing piggies or something, like if it's too laggy and I want to have some fun killing piggies because of the whole thing. Yes, let me get this out of the way first. So, mainly, do not use automated pig farms. Because lava or fire is not going to do any damage to the mobs. So the more that they spawn, the more lag is going to cause for the region. You have to kill them by hand or you have to kill them by sword or bow or anything else that could actually kill a pig. You have to kill it. Not by fire or lava. It's just not going to work. It's just going to lag the server and it's going to kick everybody out. We've already had a lot of server crashes because of the pig farmers. Okay, the automated pig farms. Okay, let's go have that out of the way. Feel free to join us on Pixamon and it's going to be the server called envyblock.org. Everything is linked in the description below so you'll be able to join us. So, we got that going on. Have a great day everyone. I'm SirKing090 and as always, I will see you in the next video.